Welcome to Chile IT and let's explain how IBM's safeguarded copy works. When you take a snapshot for example at 6 o'clock it will create a bitmap file between the live and immutable copy. It's important to understand that only data which gets changed after 6 o'clock will get copied to the immutable. Only the original contents are copied, therefore before A is updated to AZ on the live system, A is copied to the immutable volume and then the original can be updated to AZ. This process repeats itself whilst the bitmap is active, so when B is to be updated, again it will get copied to the immutable before being updated to BX on the live system. Ransomware attackers are now using all sorts of techniques to breach companies' networks, including actively advertising for employees' remote access credentials. Tools to grab user IDs and passwords are freely available and easily deployed to then breach any local security to the database servers. They could then quietly go about either stealing or encrypting less frequently used data, for example, encrypting backups written to disk which once written are rarely checked to ensure they can be reused in the event of an unplanned system outage or worse still a ransomware demand. Recovering from an encrypted database attack requires the immutable copy to be made available, added to a server and a system boot or IPL started. Please watch our Understanding IBM Cyber Vault video that explains the key aspects that are required to manage, monitor and validate your immutable copies. This is a critical part of protecting yourselves from a ransomware attack so don't miss it. From the Chile IT team, thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you found it informative, have a nice day.